How's it going folks? Starting off today's video here at the uh, wonderful Walmart. Got to go in and pick up a few things. As you know already, the title of the video is we're going to be catching some mice with my homemade mouse trap. So I got to pick up a few things because, well, I can't just fill it with water and it's got to be filled with antifreeze because, well, we live in New England and everything freezes. Okay, so one of the first things I'm going to pick up, mouse traps, because who knows, this might be turning into a catching cook. One of the main reasons I'm doing this is because at 4.30 the other morning, I woke up to a mouse in the wall chewing on some of the wood studs, just annoying the crap out of me. So I said, all right, it's time to start trapping the mice again. So I need now, oh, top shelf. <clears throat> Good old antifreeze. So it won't freeze up on me when it's in the bucket and you see what we're gonna do. Now that we're back from Walmart, I'm gonna go ahead and start making my redneck mouse trap. So first thing I'm gonna do is take my five gallon bucket and you can get these pretty much anywhere. We're gonna drill a couple of holes in it and I'm using a 1 8 inch drill bit here. So what we're planning to do is stick a wire going right across the center of this, put something on for the mice to trip on and fall in. So let's go ahead and get our holes drilled here. Now it doesn't have to be perfectly straight, but try to get it as straight as you can. All right, so now that the holes are drilled, I like to use a wire hanger because most people have these around the house. And we're just gonna straighten this out here. Now that the wire's straightened out, we're gonna go ahead and feed it through the holes that we drilled just to make sure it's fitting okay. Perfect. So now nice straight. We're gonna have some extra over here, but we'll go ahead and cut that off. So the third thing you're gonna need is a can. Uh, I know some people can use a bottle, but I like to use a can. Um, the idea behind this trap is that it's not something you have to check and reset every day. This thing can just keep filling up, filling up with mice. You know, if you've got a lot of mice and you don't wanna check it, you don't have a couple days to check it and reset the trap, it just keeps working each time. So now I'm gonna take my drill again. We're gonna drill a hole in the center of the can. I'm using a beer can, just make sure you drink your beer first. Hydrate. All right, now it's time to assemble your trap. So you're gonna find your holes that you drilled, get your wire through your first hole, stick it through the hole that you drilled in the can first because it's such a small opening. Then you're gonna flip it, get it through the other end here, through the second hole, straighten your wire a little bit, See, so now what you're left with is you put some bait on your can and when the mice gets on it, whoop, it's gonna spin right off down to the bucket. At that point, that's where the antifreeze comes in. So you don't need too much, probably only need about an inch or two of water down there, so probably about a half a gallon. So the reason I went with the RV and the marine antifreeze is basically because this is only $2.50. You can get some of the more expensive antifreeze, but for what I'm using it for, I didn't need anything too expensive. And this is good down to 50 degrees below zero. So it really shouldn't freeze at all on me. Now to bait the trap, I just use a little bit of peanut butter here because it sticks on there good. It's got a lot of scent and odor to it and just put it right in the middle, all around. Doesn't have to be neat or clean. Boom, ready to go. All right, so I went ahead and made another trap just so I can have them in a couple different places. So let's go ahead and get these in place. It's so one of the things I'm looking for in here is a good place to put this that I can also set up a trail camera and maybe we can get a video of these little buggers falling into the trap. All right, so I got ahead and got the trap set up here. Got a trail camera set up here. Got it set to record for video and I think I'll leave this for a couple of days and see if we can't catch anything. Woo! How's it going folks? It's been a couple of days since we put the traps out, so it's time to go and see if we've caught anything. Okay, moment of truth. Woo! Look at that, rip to those guys. It looks like I've got five in there. Now we gotta check the trail camera and I also see a dead one over here in the trap. 
Okay, I checked the trail camera footage and, well, this was a botch. I mean, this is what the video looked like. I'm not sure what happened to it, but I think it's about time to get rid of this trail camera. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed the other bucket that we had put out and, well, ripped to those guys too. Got three in there. And this worked out pretty well. All right, so you can see I got one here at the mouse trap, conventional mouse trap. But you can tell, once this was set off with this mouse here, it's done for. So you gotta come out and set it each day. Meanwhile, I've got five in this one, three in this one. So I've got eight here that I didn't have to do anything with. I'd say this has uh, worked out pretty well and, oh, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a little bug crawling on here. Not sure if this will focus for you or not, but it looks like there's little fleas or something crawling on the mouse already. But, go ahead and shake those off and, heck man. Maybe just go ahead and eat it now. I'm just kidding. Hey, thanks for watching folks. If you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button down below. Leave a comment if you like these types of videos and maybe I can do some more. And uh, as the snow starts to melt here in a couple of months, there's gonna be more and more critters out and maybe we can do a little bit more trapping. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time, guys.